Some notable changes. The federal government is now encouraging Canadians to eat more fruits and vegetables. In fact, if you were to follow the guidelines, they would, and, they sh and, you, and you should, it actually takes up half of your plate. That's how much fruits and vegetables should do. So following a plant-based diet is one of the wellness trends of 2019. And nutritionist Elisa Bauman joins us now with tips to get more plants onto your plate. Now, we've always known to eat more vegetables mm -hmm. and to actually eat, but it's like, when the government starts to put it out there, that's when people are like, now eh, people are in the panic. Buttons. Finally, going to be listening. Yeah, I've been so, saying this for a very long time. So yeah. I'm so happy, and I think it's so great that the Canadian government is doing this. That's fantastic. Yes. Now, a lot of people also panic because they think a plant-based diet is, they have to switch everything to vegan, mm -hmm. and they have they can't eat anything mm -hmm. that's meaty, any of that. That's so. not true. Nobody needs to panic. You can definitely still eat your meat, but just yeah. eat less of it and look for protein sources from plants. Okay. You know, we live in such a protein obsessed society and we both grew up and everybody grew up that you have to have a piece of meat on your plate yeah. to get your protein especially if you work out mm -hmm. you're like I mm -hmm. gotta feed the muscles protein totally <laughs> but that's not the case because we can get lots of protein yeah um, from so many plants in fact edamame which is a great snack yes a, a fist size of that has about 9 to 12 grams of protein per serving so really? that is a lot of protein lentils okay. and beans like I, I brought have here. switched to lentils I've stopped eating meat mm -hmm. um, okay, not for any particular reasons just for mm -hmm. health reasons for myself yeah, yeah everybody and, and everybody's different too everybody's right? different for sure but there are ways that if you don't want to give up meat you can incorporate more, more greens so exactly how do we exactly. do that exactly so again I said I was talking about lentils and beans lentils are so easy to make you don't yeah. have to soak them and you just cook them just like you cook rice and this is um, tomatoes and some spice and there you go I mean this bowl right here has about 23 grams of protein in it right really there. so we don't have to worry so much about getting that protein in right. because if you do eat you know according to the new upgraded um, Canadian plan, you'll be getting it. Yeah. So nuts and seeds, for instance. So like I've made um, a taco salad. That looks so, so instead good. of a ground beef, yeah. this is actually ground walnuts. And I love walnuts no because they have protein and they're also super uh, heart healthy and you have the healthy fats in there. This so, looks like ground beef. Can I try yeah, this? Yeah, absolutely, please. So basically all that is is walnuts, soy sauce, and a little cumin. Stop it. It has that meaty consistency. Oh right? my and you're getting, I'm glad you like it. And it you're is getting. So good. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm so like, happy you love it. No, right, I love it here. too. So you're not going to miss those, that meat. Mm -mm. Not when you have flavorful food like I this. I love the crunchiness in it too. Yeah, the love consistency it. is really great. So you would so just put that over the salad? I would just put that over the salad. And there you go. You have your vegetables, like we're talking about, and then you have your healthy proteins and also your healthy fats. I'm so doing that. Yeah, hemp okay. seeds, chia seeds. All of the all of those nuts and seeds have protein and have those healthy fats, so we what can load up on those. What did you put in there for the flavor, though? What is that? Cumin and mm. a little bit of soy sauce. That's it. That's it. And throw some cilantro on that, and that's that's. Honestly, it. guys, I, I can't wait for everybody else to try this. You know, and oh. those who are like panicking, I need my meat. Yeah. There are ways that you can eat your meat, but yeah. eat less of it. Let's start thinking of it as you know more of a side as mm -hmm. opposed to the main. So these are turkey burgers. And what I did is I took a fistful of turkey yep. and a fistful of cooked quinoa, okay? Ah, and I mixed it together. To add substance. To add the substance. So we're bulking up on the pr plant protein and we're eating less meat. But you're still eating meat. That tastes like nothing but like turkey it's burger. It tastes like a turkey burger. But half of it so is quinoa. half of it. So it's just kind That's of brilliant. thinking on how to stretch those meats. And, okay. you know, here's an enchilada. So instead of meat inside, I have black beans, I have kale, and I have sweet potatoes. So thinking on how to just put more plants in, crowding out the meat. I love it. Okay. So this is my favorite. Cauliflower I steak. Yes. Yes. So basically, you slice the cauliflower like this, and cauliflower is super healthy for you. Yeah. You know, it's it's been said to be linked away from. Um, cancers yes and you know you're cutting that with a steak knife and so you kind of feel like you're having this little your filet mignon moment with is, your red wine yes yet, and think about your budget too i was just gonna say right? meat is i have to say my grocery bill has come down by half the amount because i don't buy as, as much, much meat. meat yes my butcher is going that's why i don't see her anymore <laughs> she's vegan <laughs> So that's mm. meaty. So yes, it doesn't taste like meat, but it has that meaty consistency and portobello mushrooms as well. So this makes a great burger as well. So mm -hmm. portobello mushroom burger, you can do it um, as, as you make hamburgers, but instead of that, you load it up with, you know, pickles and mustard and everything that you like. There's some great products out there yeah, on the market. Yeah, I was just say, instead of the meat, so people, if they, there are some great alternatives mm -hmm. that a lot of people want to kind of get away mm -hmm. from that. 
So uh, what is a good what I suggest for that is that make sure you read the labels on those because there's a lot of healthy fake foods out there. Yeah. So make sure that your meat substitute is in fact mm -hmm. vegetables okay. and not all sorts of chemicals that you don't really know about. This is a great product. Um, it is like a, f a faux meat and it's made of broccoli. Okay. And My dear, tofu, thank of you course. so much. Of yes, course, yeah.